guys, welcome to Daddy Dye's Crafty Corner. Tonight I'm going to show you a few things, a few products that I used, mixing them with my Distress Oxide inks and my regular Distress inks in the Mermaid Lagoon. So I've got them labeled on here. I've used a stencil, a little hexagon stencil, um, and I've mixed all of these things with all of these products over here, and I'm just going to kind of go through and show them to you and show you the effects that I got. I've been sitting down playing with my Distress inks lately and different mediums to try to come up with ideas of things to use it with so that I actually use my products, right? So this is probably something that's not new to you guys. Um, a lot of you do mixed media, but I'm kind of new to mixed media, so I'm just playing around. So let me just show you what I've got and see if you're interested. So I'm going to start off with which ones? Let's, well, the first thing I wanted to do is I just wanted to show you the comparison in colors. So these all on this page were done with the um, Mermaid Lagoon Oxides. So this is all Oxides, all of these. And this is all just the regular Mermaid, or yeah, the regular Mermaid Lagoon um, ink. So as you can see, this is a little vib more vibrant, but this isn't a lot less vibrant. I thought it would be a lot less when mixed with products, and it really isn't a lot. But the techniques are totally different. So, um, yeah, I'd have to say that a lot of them do look really different. So I'm just going to show you side by side. So we're going to go with this one first, okay? So this one was all done with the Distress Oxide inks. I did the same process on all of them on, on each card, so I'll go, go through them one at a time. So this is actually the color on, this is just a piece of Nina 80 pound or 110 pound cardstock. Yeah, 110 pound cardstock. And this is the ink just on there, right? Nothing done to it, just, just the way the ink looks in the oxide. And then this right here is um, mixed it so it's I squished it down on a pad and I mixed it with matte acrylic gel medium okay let me stand up can you see that isn't that a cool effect wow so all I did to do I instead of um, using my palette knife I used a paintbrush and just painted it on there and it bubbled up and crinkled up and is that not and I mean it's on there for good is that not fantastic now the acrylic gel medium I used is this one now I picked up a set of these a while a long while ago not too long I don't know six months ago or so because I saw a YouTube video on them that's the reason I purchased them, but this was the first time I actually sat down and played with them. So I thought that was amazing. And then right here, this little shiny, can you see how that shines a little bit right there? Do you see that? This was mixing it with Mod Podge. Mod Podge. So I just mixed the oxide again. I smushed it. All of these done, all of these were done with me smushing this down on a um, palette. And then I mixed a little Mod Podge in there and painted it on. And isn't that amazing? Never knew that you could mix your Mod Podge with ink and have it turn different colors. How fantastic. And I mean that, again, that's on there forever. And then on this one, I used, um, by the same company, I used just a glaze. So this is just a glaze, and it was kind of white in color, so it lightened it up a little bit. But look at the tech, look how it looks. It kind of marbleized it. Kind of looks like a marble in there. Super, super nice. And then with this one, I used um, gesso, gesso, gesso. And on this side, I used a palette knife, and on this side, I used a paintbrush. All with the stencil 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 <laughs> isn't that super cool and I'll have a close-up guys super super cool all right and then this one like I told you is a Mod Podge this one is with the um, Ranger texture paste in clear 
yeah, so this is a transparent gloss texture base. And that was put on with a palette knife. Super cool, right? And then this, of course, is the regular um, Ranger texture paste. And with this texture paste, I don't know if you can see it or not. It's the same way with both. Kind of looks, I mean, really, it kind of looks like stucco. So all of those were done with the oxides. So the, the DO means distress oxides. And the color mermaid. And I will put a close up right here. And then all of these were done with just the regular mermaid ink. And I mean, you can see how much vibrant they are here, but down here, there's not that big of a difference, right? And here, not really. So this is what this goes on, on the paper. This is mixed with the gel, with the um, gel medium and the paintbrush don't get quite the same effect but kind of cool how it got darker around the edges right so on here it kind of made lines in the middle and on this one it got darker around the edges using the same paintbrush kind of cool and then this one is the glaze again kind of the same effect but look around the edges and then this one is the gesso, smooth, and then textured. And then here is the Maj Paj. Can you see that? Super cool. And then here is a transparent Ranger um, texture paste. And then here is a regular Ranger texture paste. So super cool, right? So what I did is with the leftover um, transparent, I did a little card. I did this one right here with this leftover, with the not with the texture paste, with the leftover Maj Paj. I just painted a little ocean scene with the paintbrush. Isn't that super cool? And I'm going to be using that on a card coming up real soon. Super cool. I, I never would have known, guys. I've never seen any videos on really using them all this way. And I have to say that the two that I'm most... Well, first of all, I absolutely love this. The, being able to color your, your gesso in different colors before you put it down on your canvases and stuff, that to me is amazing. I didn't even know you could do that. So I'm really thrilled about this. And the fact that I can texture it however I want to is also very thrilling. And then the second thing was just the these, these effects right here with the um, gel medium, with the acrylic gel medium. Super, super cool. Can you guys see this? Super cool. So I encourage you guys to get out your little paste, your homemade paste, your store-bought paste, your your different kinds of Mod Podges and all sorts of things. I don't know, maybe even your clays. I don't know. I'm thinking of all kinds of things. And try it with your inks and see what happens. It's a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun trying this today. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.